LAPD is investigating several shootings from over the weekend right now. CBS 4's Cameron Riddle is live this morning with the very latest on the multiple police investigations. Cameron. Well, good morning. Police are investigating shootings of five people, three of them that we now know are fatal. This morning, police are asking for the public's help with solving these crimes from this weekend. The first shooting happened early Saturday near the corner of 30th and Schofield. When police arrived, they found an adult male who had been shot. The victim was taken to the hospital in critical condition, but they later died. So far, police have not released a motive or a suspect. Just an hour later, police responded to another shooting where one person was shot this time in the Berkeley Commons apartment complex on the south side. That victim was pronounced dead on the scene. Then Saturday night, police responded to East 10th Street and Ewing Street just before 8 p.m. There, police found an adult male with gunshot wounds. Despite EMS arriving to the scene, that person was pronounced dead a short time later. This was the third deadly shooting in just one day. Sunday morning around 530, another person was shot near 46th and Fall Creek. That victim was awake and talking when police arrived. And finally, last night, police responded 33rd and Drexel for a report of a person shot with multiple shots fired. Police originally detained an individual who was holding a weapon at the scene. Eventually, SWAT officers were called there and they discovered that shots were being fired into a residence and there could be a victim inside with the suspects. Police eventually found a person who was shot inside along with those three suspects. Police say juveniles were involved, but they do not know their ages or the ages of the suspects in that house. Officers obviously did not know at that time what was going on. Upon further investigation, it led them to believe that there were suspects along with the victim inside the residence. All of these cases are still under investigation. If you have any information about these crimes, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers or the IMPD Detectives Office. We're live this morning. I'm Cameron Riddle, CBS 4 News.